and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. It is that time again. Barca are in midweek action. This time though, it's not the Champions League. We are in action in La Liga in one of our all important games in hand on many of the clubs around us. The challenge for us though, even though it's at home, is that this game comes against the league leaders. It's Barca against Sociedad and this is another test that we cannot afford to fail. So let's get to it. Kickoff will be coming to us at 9pm local time from the Camp Now once again. This will be our third successive game at home and it's one that we simply have to win and we can try and get back here on the right road if we can get that victory. And of course join me live on the flip chat for this one. It is going to be exciting and it is going to be very, very intense and of course make sure you're getting your predictions in ahead of the end of the month. Elsewhere though, in La Liga this midweek there is only one other game taking place and that will come on Tuesday as Real Madrid will be hosting Athletic Club at the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium and like I say that's the only other game there with the majority of the teams elsewhere focusing this week on the Copital Ray action which is starting now to get underway again but if we take a look here at the La Liga table just to fully understand how good Sociedad are this season and what we're coming up against because as you can see they stand tall at the top of the league 26 points from 13 games. They are nine points ahead of Barcelona right now, although they have played two more games than us. And this for us is a very, very important game, not only because we need these wins right now, but it is one of those games in hand. So if you could win this game with nobody else really in action around us, that could take us there into fifth place with the three points, which obviously still is nowhere near where we want to be. We're all understanding that, but it would make for more respectable reading when you're looking at the league table. So let's do this. Because I think obviously following on there from Sunday's game against Levante, I don't think it was the prettiest game ever. I don't think it was the prettiest win ever. But the most important thing on that night certainly was that we did get the job done. And I think I will give a bit of credit here to the team and for Ronald Koeman because we did keep going. Obviously we couldn't break Levante down. We could have got frustrated. We could have started to panic a little bit. But no, still in the 70 odd minute there, we're still high pressing, still trying to work hard. And eventually we did get our reward. And I think Koeman earlier on in his his press conference he was saying all that did there was give us a bit of calm we wanted those points we needed that win he said we were still missing some things but right now ahead of this game we just needed that period of calm and that's ultimately what he will have got but that's the thing that period of calm that relaxation if you like in between these games it'll only last up until this match because now it's on to another test a bigger test in Sociedad and if we don't get this right the pressure it's going to be firmly back on. Because just to give you some more background information on our opponents here, La Real, because they are having a stunning season in La Liga. Of course, like I say, their last league defeat actually came way back in September against Valencia, which coincidentally there is their only loss in the league so far this season. And also it should be noted that out of any team in La Liga, Real Sociedad had the best away record, which is very, very significant when they're coming to the camp. Now they've taken 14 points from their six away trips so far this season. And when you look at the stats, they are a very, very solid team in every single area. They really have done things very well this season. They're the team right now who holds the second best defensive record out of any team in the league, second only to Atletico Madrid. They conceded just six times in their 13 games. And at the other end of the spectrum too, it's not just about their having a solid base, but they go forward and they're really, really good in front of goal. They've scored more goals than any other team in the league, including ourselves, scoring 23 times this season. And I think when you're looking at individuals, I think coming into this game, or Yazabal, the league's top goal scorer right now, he has been out injured over the past few games for Sociedad, but he is back in their squad. He is going to be a big, big threat for them. And they certainly have players who can open you up. They certainly have players who can exploit what has been this season for Barca, a poor defensive structure. And it's also going to be interesting because so should add player 4-2-3-1. And what that basically means is that we're going to be coming up against a team here who are going to set up in exactly the same way as ourselves. We're almost going to counter each other out in certain areas. And it is going to be down to which players can arrive and play at their best on the day. They've got some very good players, like I say, Isaac up front. We all know about his quality. A really emerging young striker. I really like the look as well of Mikel Marino in midfield. Monreal has gone back there and done really, really well. And they do have a good defence, so she And of course, Oyazabal is the danger man, even though they are certainly going to miss David Silva, who's going to miss this game through injury. 
And that's definitely a positive for Barcelona. But of course, the big question is always going to be, especially coming off the back of a victory, what is Ronald Koeman going to do in this game? Because as you can see here, this is the team that set up against Levante just a few days ago. And the question would be, after beating Levante, after getting the three points and the performance that we saw, how many changes will we see from Ronald Koeman? Because I think in general, the team did okay. I think actually things improved once we started seeing some subs from Koeman. So that would prompt me there to make a few changes. I would actually look to bring three changes to the team. I would try and keep a little bit of stability. I would try and keep here a little bit of familiarity in the team. But I would make three changes. One of those would be Clement Longley going out. One of those would be Sergio Busquets going out. And one of those certainly would be Philippe Coutinho going out, who didn't really have any impact in the game before he was subbed against Levante. Now, in place of Clement Longley, I would really like to see Samuel and Tutti start this game. He did come on there for the final minutes against Levante, and I thought he played really, really well, even though he was only on the pitch a short amount of time alongside there Araujo who is also really really good in that game in midfield I would really like to see Miralem Pjanic he's been speaking about his frustration really over his lack of minutes in the team I think Busquets wasn't necessarily bad against Levante but I just think somebody there like Pjanic obviously we'd be hoping for Ricky Pooch but we all know that's not going to happen so Pjanic there I think deserves an opportunity in La Liga alongside De Jong and certainly then in that front three I think we definitely improved when we had width against Levante and we're going to need that too against Sociedad. So I think Trincao starting over to the left-hand side, I think the profile there is more important than necessarily the confidence that he has right now. We know that he's not playing at his absolute maximum, but what he gives us there in terms of a natural winger, he helped against Levante. Did he do enough to warrant that starting place? That would be the question, but I would start him in that area again. Of course, though, as we always say, what we would like to see and what we will see are often two very, very different things when it comes to Barcelona. And this right here is how I expect Koeman to line up in this game. I don't think he'll make many changes whatsoever to the team that we saw beat Levante. I think Longley and Busquets will remain in his team. I think he will make one change, though. I could see Coutinho going out of the team and I could see Pedri there replacing him in that front three off to the left-hand side. That's what I'm expecting from Kuman, and let's wait and see again if it's what we see. Finally though, of course, we do have to move on to the all-important predictions ahead of this game, and I was really, really interested to see what you guys were going to say, and as you can see here, there has been a little bit of a change in attitude after that win against Levante. You'll remember, of course, in the build-up to that game, I think many, many people were saying, you know what, Levante are going to win, and I think this time as well, you can see there are still a lot of people believing that Sociedad will win in this game. Nearly a quarter of people there believing that Sociedad will get all three points, but many people and the majority believing that Barca will just about get the job done. And I think that's the key part here. It is going to be a close game. It's not going to be easy. The majority right now with Barca winning by a single goal. And as I often do, I'm going to go with you guys because I believe that too. I'm going to predict here a win for Barca, what would be a massive victory. Barca 2, Sociedad 1 in a tightly contested game. Let's wait and see. But we really need this. We really do. So please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What lineup are you hoping for coming into this big game? And what lineup are you expecting from Ronald Koeman? And of course, please do let me know all of your predictions ahead of this game. I will see you after it for the review. And hopefully, we can cling on to something from this team. Please, let's see a performance. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Enjoy the build-up. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca.